What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Wednesday. It is July 13th. Boy, what a day it is. What a video we have in store for you as we get some major, major announcement coming last night from the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. I'm going to go over it. This whole video is basically going to be around the announcement that came out last night. That is how big it is. And yes, you are probably sitting here guessing it is in regards to those Bill Hinman emails. And the judge, she did not play nice towards the SEC. I'm going to cover it. We're also going to talk about a massive bill that looks like it's about to be dropped in the United States that could change crypto as we know it. This could be a game changer, folks. Everything is leading up to Ripple vs. SEC settles. Crypto regulations come out. Institutional money enters the market. We see a flood. We see a $10 trillion market cap in cryptocurrencies. We see the ultimate bull run, bull rush, everything leading up to that happening that is only about, I don't know, less than, well, a little over a year away, 2024, folks. I'm ready for fireworks, and I'm ready to get this show started. Let's head over to Live Coin Watch. What are we seeing? We see the total currency market cap, $897 billion. We can't get to that trillion dollar mark. We're pretty flat. Bitcoin dominance still at 42%. We're seeing eh, no changes really in the cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin's still under 20,000, coming out at $19,781. It's up about 0.4% the past 24 hours. We're seeing an Ethereum that's hanging above $1,000. We're seeing an XRP that is at 31 cents. It is actually at 1.36% in the past 24 hours. But once again, we look at that Binance USD stablecoin, and what are we seeing? We are seeing that it is above it's dollar peg coming in at a dollar two interesting times ahead folks who i don't know which way this roller coaster ride's going next but all i know is that i am on this for the long run i have been very very smart about positioning myself into these markets and i have been very smart about where my funds have been coming from i haven't been taking loans i haven't been using credit cards i've been saving each and every dime and I've been putting it responsibly into these markets so I didn't have to worry about if XRP didn't go up by a certain date that I would have to liquidate funds to get money out to repay something. I hope you didn't do that as well. That is not that responsible. It is a complete gamble. But hey, you know what? At the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do. Not financial advice. That's just the way I approach these things. Now, we're going to move over to this before we get going. Just to give everyone a heads up, the XRP store just got restocked. The pills and the glasses are back in stock. I think we got about another dozen or so. Those are etched. Those are the number one seller. They are beautiful. And for all of you who are looking to get into the Lux Lions Metaverse, I'm telling you right now, I will have a Metaverse deed posted on the website because we are going to offer people multiple payment options. Make sure you get on that whitelist. It's coming out even later this week or early next week, but you need to be in the Discord to find out about that whitelist. We will offer cryptocurrency payments. We might even throw a PayPal payment in there, but we're definitely going to have a credit card checkout in there, folks. We are getting everyone into the metaverse. And as you know, we have partnered with the co-creator of Deadpool 2, who's also been involved in Marvel vs. Capcom, X-Files, Star Trek, you name it, the list goes on. You can read all about it on the Discord. It is absolute insanity what we are building. And I'm telling you, if you don't get a plot of land on the Lux Lines Oasis, you're missing out. This is going to be the number one metaverse out there, especially everything we got in store. It's crazy. Jed McCaleb, what are you doing? You're selling. I like it. You bounce 9,550,267 XRP. We are down to the final four days, folks. Four days. Sometimes this week, maybe even early next week. I think by Saturday, as long as he keeps selling. Let me take a sip of my coffee right there. I'm shot. I'm tired. So, good signs. Jed continued to sell his 4.2 million per day. Let's just keep this up for another couple of days. Let's get this man out of here. Now, here's the Lux Lions Oasis. You can check out the website, luxlionsnft.com. Here's an amazing tweet, an amazing video that was put out by the official Twitter account yesterday. It says, Lux is on a fire family. Our plans and goals to continue to get hotter and hotter. I cannot wait to share all the NFTs, plans, incoming partnerships, and ways to give back to our members. Let's take a quick look. Thank you. 
Love it, love it, love it. And then Crypto5 puts this out. The US dropped a massive bill that could change crypto. It's a 68 page report covering stable coins, taxes, and the regulations of crypto. I've read it all so you don't have to. Here's everything you need to know in five minutes. These are my types of threads. He says, in this thread, we're gonna cover the Lumens Gilly brand bill, the Web3 frameworks, Chris Dixon's policy discussions, NFT law. Let's dive in. He starts with regulations in crypto. He says, you need to understand regulations isn't as bad as people think. Businesses won't dedicate time, effort, and capital into crypto only for their actions to be declared illegal. How many times have I touched on this? New money will not enter the space until we get regulations or some kind of policies out there. We know the problem. The problem is the C SEC and the CFTC, they don't know what's going on. There's a lot of confusion out there. We're still dating back to the Howey test, which... Come on, the Howey test should not be used for crypto. I mean, it, I think a kindergartner could figure that one out, right? So, we get something called the Responsible Financial Innovation Act. This is the Lumens Gilly Band Bill effectively divides digital assets into three different worlds, right? Commodities, securities, and then assets. Perfect. So is the bill actually good for crypto? Yes, here's why. Because the CFTC, under section 301 of the bill issuers of the assets would be required to make certain disclosures to the SEC. By complying, digital assets will be commodities. So most of crypto would be regulated by the CFTC, but the SEC would have jurisdictions over securities. Perfect. Let the CFTC rule everything commodities. We can go ahead and move the day. And if the SEC really does see a scammy project out there, like Elon Musk coin goes to the moon, let them step in and do something about it. I don't understand what's so difficult here. Then goes on to say, projects that want to tap into the U.S. market will make disclosures about their business, financial conditions, plan for protecting consumers in the event of bankruptcy. This will reward those genuine econo economic utility and honest intentions. You know, it's all Ripple's want to stay on. They've been very transparent. They actually got slapped in the, rip for be slapped in the wrist for being transparent. Not going to go into the rest of this. There's a lot going on here. I will jump into more in the video too, but I want to get into the, to the uh, SEC versus Ripple rule because this is huge. Now, folks, define hypocrites. What's a hypocrite, right? A person who indulges in hypocrisy. Well, it doesn't really explain it. How about a person who puts on a false appearance of virtue? How about a person who acts in contradiction to his or her stated beliefs or feelings? Remember that one. That's important. Go on to say the definition of a hypocrite is a person who pretends to have certain beliefs, attitudes of feelings when they really do not. An example of a hypocrite is a person who says they care about the environment, but they are consistently littering. That's not like the SEC to you. The SEC cares about protecting the consumer and protecting the everyday investor because they don't want anything to happen to us. But yet that they stand there and they don't issue regulations, policy, laws, nothing. So you have no clue what you're investing in. And next thing you know, you wake up a couple of days before Christmas and they rule an asset that you have all your money into your life savings, a security, when they didn't do anything to it from eight years ago. And now you just lost 95% of your value. Does that sound like someone you know? Because I believe the SEC is a hypocrite. Why am I telling you that? Well, I'll tell you why I'm telling you that. Let's just jump right to this. Wrap the comments. says, holy smokes. The judge was direct. She called the SEC hypocrites. Even she can see, clearly see what the SEC is up to. Here is the part from the lawsuit or from the, uh, the, the paper that came out, the ruling. It states, and let's fast forward. The SEC has distanced itself from the speech to avoid discovery and sort to preclude Hinman's deposition on the grounds that whatever he said in the speech, it had nothing to do with the SEC's position. The hypocrisy is arguing to the court, on the other hand, that the speech is not relevant to the market understanding of how or whether the SEC will regulate cryptocurrencies. And on the other hand, that Hinman sort and obtain legal advice from the SEC counsel in drafting his speech suggests that the SEC is adopting its litigation positions to further its desired goal and not out of a faithful alliance to the law. Are you kidding? You know what? I am so happy this judge finally stepped in and called something out. So here was the here was the ruling that came out. Thought I had it pulled up. We can click this. It says break in. Judge Netburn denies. 
denies the SEC's attorney-client privilege claims. The predominant purpose of the communication was not to provide legal advice. The document must be produced. Hogan steps in and says this was not even a Nunes opinion. Netburn tore apart every SEC argument for attorney-client privilege of the Hinman emails. I guess the SEC rent the lawyer for that. They did not work out. That this starts the 14-day clock for an appeal to Judge Torres. And if a recent orders of any president, things would move relatively fast. So here's what's about to happen, right? Torres is like, listen, you guys are fooling you know what? You hypocrites. I see right through you. You're a bunch of liars. You're not coming into my courtroom and you're playing this game. Give up the emails now. So the SEC, they're pissed right now, right? They're gonna deny it or they're gonna appeal it. They got 14 days to appeal it. This would then go up to Torres. Torres will then have to make a decision. Will she will she let them appeal or is she gonna side off net burn? Usually we've seen what happened here. Torres is going to shoot this down real quick and she's going to say give up the emails. Folks, that is it. That is the icing on the cake. These emails are going to come our way. We want these emails. Listen to this quick clip. I don't know who this guy is. He did a little quick minute TikTok on it, but listen up. It was actually a pretty good video. Breaking news. We won against the SEC today. It is sweet, poetic justice. That is right. The secret SEC emails that the SEC has been trying to cover up in the Ripple and XRP lawsuit, which could have determinations for the entire crypto market, has just been denied. The SEC was trying to hide the speech of <laughs> Director Hinman of 2018 at the Yahoo conference, and they were saying it was deliberative process privilege, and the judge ruled, no, it's not. And then they said it was attorney-client privilege, and now the judge says, no, it's not, it's denied. Ripple's gonna get those documents. According to Judge Sarah Netburn, Magistrate Judge of New York. However, the SEC in the past has said they will likely appeal this to Judge Torres. If Judge Torres, on appeal, sides with Judge Netburn, which is likely, this could potentially lead to a settlement. This is major news, and I'm going to Listen, he said it all correct here, right? They're going to appeal it. We know they're going to appeal it. There's no way they don't appeal it, okay? It goes to Torres. Let it. Torres is going to side with Netburn. They're not going to fight each other. These documents are going to get appealed or, or shown. You know what the SEC doesn't want to do? They don't want to show these emails. You know what they want? why they don't want to show these emails? Because they understand that this is the end to the SEC and their BS. They got the fact that she stood there and called out and called them hypocrites and told them they were full of you know what is major news the fact that she is shooting down everything every angle the sec tried to fight she has shot them all down said no that is not true that is wrong you're lying get at your ass out of my courtroom is what she's telling them give up the documents let's keep going let's see what's going to happen here she knows what's going to happen i'm telling you folks i put the prediction out there this lawsuit's ending this year this is big this is all adding up to a lawsuit coming to an end at the end of the year, which is perfect timing to get these markets turned around, to get these things flipped back up, to give us that final push and to send XRP to the moon. Folks, this is big time. I'm excited. You should be excited. You need to go wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.